guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of Redneck Garage, we are going to see how good these Chinese batteries are for the Milwaukee Impact. I bought these for $17, one day shipping, got them the next day. Now, the only re normally I would do an unboxing, but there really isn't nothing to unbox here. And I wanted to get one on the charger, which is done charging the light screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to tear one apart to see if we can tell what kind of batteries are in it. Um, whether they're name brand or something of the nature. But before we do that, we're going to do some tests. And not to mention you guys already know I'm going to use these. My batteries were five going on six years old. And they were just, they wouldn't hold a charge. They uh, wouldn't charge. I threw them away and was actually going to buy a whole new set, uh, you know, because this is old. Works good. But then I found these on Amazon, a pair for $16 and some change. Uh, with tax, it was like $17. So let's get this one that's charged out of the charger just to show you. I hope you can see it. Light's green. Looks like a Milwaukee battery. It is different. My Milwaukee batteries, this top cap here, would actually come off. These ones are all one uniform piece. Maybe a good thing because my caps over time actually kept coming off and getting stuck in the gun. So, yeah. Pop that in there and see if it even works. I have not tried this. Uh-oh. 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 Let's try the other battery. I did not throw this on the charger, but we'll see. That one works. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? I see the problem. This pin needs to come out let's see if we can fix it so we got a pick we're gonna try and pry this pin out just a little bit oh let's see if that makes a difference hey all right we'll use the charged one we'll throw this one on the charger now we got two two by fours because i i didn't have a four by four and we're gonna See if it'll put this in and out, and if we can do it quite a few times. Let's see. Yeah. That was on two. Let's see if it'll do it on one. needs to hey I figured that would happen that's why I wanted a 4x4 four four. but whatever let's keep trying Now the whole point in this test is I wanted to see if this gun still had the same power that I was used to. And yeah, it seems like it does. Um, I think that's a pretty good test. Now we could try and take off a lug nut or something. Um, but I don't think we're going to need to because I guarantee it'll take off a lug nut just like it would before. Now, these are supposedly 3 amp hour batteries compared to the standard uh, 1.5 that comes with these machines, which the 1.5s, first of all, I highly, highly doubt these are actually 3 amp hours. They're probably 1.5, just like your standard battery, but I could be wrong, but I doubt it, being that they're so cheap. And I bet they got some cheap cells, so 
We're gonna try this again. Let's see. We're down to three bars now. Oh, nope. Four. Yeah, it's bouncing between three and four. So, battery life. I don't know. I'll have to update you guys on that because I'll be using it. I'll be taking this back to work and using it every day just like I have for the last few years now. I'll have to just keep you guys updated on it. Um, after all that, the battery is cool to the touch. And honestly, my other ones would actually get warm. Let's see about getting it apart. See if we can get it apart. It takes one of them security bits. Let's see. Oh, there we go. These are 3.7 volt 18650 30R lithium ion batteries. Now, the way they got them orientated in here, I can give you guys a number and maybe we'll try and look it up as well. And if I get any information, I'll have it on the screen. R H Y A as an Apple, 45H SD1865 dash 30R. So we'll try and look that up and see what we can come up with. They are completely different than how the stock ones are built. Completely different. Here's the stock one. And these are LG cells. Which, you know what? For as cheap as these are, you could take these apart and put better cells in for just a couple bucks more. But, we got to find out what cells these are. Here's the difference in circuitry. You can tell these ones are made just a little better. These ones have a plastic housing that they're housed in, and these ones do not. They do, but it's mostly like rubber. See? All rubber. This is actually plastic. So I do like that. So yeah. Let's throw it back together. Make sure we didn't break it. But we'll see how they do. I mean. Hey. For $17. How could you really say no. For two batteries. Because considering. For a moment, and this one's charged already. So they must have really came charged. But for Milwaukee cells. They're like 50 bucks a pop. So $16 for two, even if the battery life is a little shorter, I mean like usage life is a little shorter than your your standard battery pack, who cares? They give you two of them for 16 bucks. At that rate, you could buy, I don't know, almost six of them for a price of one. So, hey, got that going for you. Now that we took it apart, let's make sure it does work. Yeah. Works. So, alright guys, I will have the link down in the description as to where you can pick these uh, gems up. Make sure you check out my links. I do get a little commission. It helps out the channel. helps me do stuff like this. This I was going to do regardless, but... Um, yeah, check out my links down there below and hey, try them out for yourself. And like I said, keep watching my content because I'll be using it on the golf cart build and uh, I'll be using it at work. So I'll probably take a couple videos there for you and keep you guys updated on how these batteries are holding up. They got to be holding, they got to hold up better than my six year old ones, I'm sure. They're all busted and everything. So make sure you get down there and you like. The video for me shows YouTube that we're good people and we make good content around here. 
Make sure you click that subscribe button. That also helps YouTube determine if we're good or bad. I like to think that we're good. And click the bell so you don't miss anything. Or don't click the bell so you don't get annoyed by all the notifications. I'll leave that one up to you. Just throw me a like and I'll be happy. And a subscribe. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to the Redneck Garage YouTube channel. Here where you can find all of your favorite tool reviews. Golf cart builds. Side by side builds. Whatever. Keep in mind. We got some cool stuff coming to the channel in the next month or so. So, have a good one, guys. Redneck Garage is out. As always, peace and God bless. Later.